effects of Dorian. And this morning, we're only talking about that wall of moisture <laughs> awaiting you on the other side of the door. Yeah. yeah. Hoping for some autumnal air eventually. It's not going to happen this week. We're talking above average temperatures, above average humidity, and we're still keeping an eye on the tropics. Nothing that's an imminent threat, but tomorrow is the statistical peak of the Atlantic hurricane season. So we've still got several more weeks to go here of above average activity in all likelihood. A few areas we're keeping an eye on. There's Tropical Storm Gabrielle. It's way out there in the Atlantic Ocean. It's not an impressive storm and it's just kind of wandering around. 20% chance that a system to the northeast of the Caribbean is going to develop as it tracks to the west towards the Bahamas. That's a low chance of development, but just that projected path towards the Bahamas is something we're going to have to keep an eye on. And then a slightly better chance that this area of disturbed weather way out in the tropical Atlantic will develop into at least a tropical depression as it gets closer and closer to the Caribbean. Nothing that's an imminent threat, just something that we're going to monitor and keep you updated on in case those odds go up a bit. Looking outside this morning, there we go, the camera kicking in from Smithfield, seeing a little bit of fog in the distance, but it is just warm and muggy. 75 degrees the temperature in Johnston County, low clouds over Carter-Finley Stadium with a temperature of 73 degrees. These clouds won't last all day. While they're in place early this morning, they're going to block that September sunshine, keep us from warming up too fast, but our temperatures are already 10 or 11 degrees above average for this time of year. It's 75 in both Raleigh and Durham, 74 in Cary and in Garner. Average low temperature for the Triangle in mid-September is 64 degrees. So we're starting off way above that, and it's even warmer farther south, 75, 76, 77 around Cumberland County, even 78 degrees in the Grays Creek area. Our dog of the day is Boone. Thank you to Boone's human, Jane for sharing that picture with us. He looks content to just hang out in the air conditioning, and that is a perfectly understandable instinct when it is that muggy outside. Temperatures will climb up into the upper 80s, close to 90 degrees. I think we'll fall just short in the triangle, but the heat index will be something else. And then that chance of scattered thunderstorms develops late in the day, so download the CBS 17 weather app, check the radar before you head up for a dog walk, and make it a short walk because it's going to be awfully humid out there for those pups. Here are the hour-by-hour -hour temperatures up into the low to mid-80s by noon as that September sunshine breaks through the morning clouds. Upper 80s and even some low 90s on the map this afternoon, but it's going to feel like it's in the 90s area-wide. Even if the air temperature is 88, 89, heat index is going to be 94 to 96. That is unusual for this time of year. Just stay hydrated, the usual hot weather common sense advice, and then we see that better chance of scattered thunderstorms developing as early as mid-afternoon. Futurecast tries to pop up a couple thunderstorms by 3 o'clock this afternoon. Now, the best chance overall is going to be northeast of the Triangle. This forecast model tries to sneak some of those storms down into the Triangle as well. So keep the umbrella handy just in case that better chance of storm is continuing into this evening and tonight to the northeast of the Triangle for the northern half of the coastal plain. Even an outside chance that a couple storms become stronger with a marginal risk of severe weather. That's the lowest category from the Storm Prediction Center. It means we expect thunderstorms to develop, especially deeper into this green shaded area, a couple of which may prompt severe thunderstorm warnings for a brief damaging wind threat. It's something we'll keep an eye on. It's not something you need to be overly worried about. Lower rain chances tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday. Temperatures drop a bit tomorrow. I wish I could say it the same about the humidity, although it might be fractionally better. Back up to 90 on Wednesday. Low 90s Thursday within shouting distance of Thursday's record high temperature, which is 96 degrees. And then a bit of a drop in temperatures Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with our next storm chances. But the humidity does not look like it's going to go anywhere until maybe the middle or end of next week. So we've got a long way to go here as we head through the last days of summertime. Coming up on 620 on this Monday morning. Brian